often you're in the middle of a discussion or uh, you think of something while you're on the go and you just want to record the idea or the task without having to think where to put it inside week plan. That's what the inbox is for. The inbox is a private space, so no one else can see the tasks you've got in your inbox and uh, where you put tasks that you haven't decided yet where you want to put them, whether it will be in the schedule or uh, in the backlog or in the high impact task list. And what's important is that this inbox is attached to you as a user. So when you switch from one team to another, the inbox stays the same. So you can easily switch to another team and move uh, a task into the schedule of a different team. So when, um, when you've got your task in your, in your inbox, inbox sorry, you can process it um, once a day or regularly. And processing your inbox just means deciding what you're going to do with these tasks. So um, you can delete the task, you can complete the task, or you can move the task somewhere else, whether today or, um, or in the backlog. Another way you can add tasks to the inbox is by sending an email. Here you've got this email address called uh, inbox at hello.weekplan.net. And if you send an, an email there, the uh, subject of the email will become your task and the body will become the notes. It's quite handy, especially if you use some automation tools that can send an email. You can uh, automate uh, with Weekplan by doing that, by sending all your tasks inside the, inside the inbox.